There will be no wires anywhere, and you won't have any outlets in your wall. There'll be a source, actually, but it will be embedded in the wall. But because we're using the magnetic field to transfer energy, it goes through things. It goes through anything that a normal house is. Run an electric current through a coil of copper wire, and the coil will produce a short-range magnetic field. Place a second coil within this field, and an electric current will flow through it. The magnetic field has transferred electrical power from one coil to the other. This principle is called induction, and it has been understood for more than a century. Induction is what charges a wireless electric toothbrush, for example, and it works well over extremely short distances. Pull the coils apart, and the power transfer ceases. It turns out that the trick to longer distance power transfer is the same principle an opera singer uses to shatter a wine glass from across the room. It's called resonance. For the opera singer, when the frequency of the sound wave matches the unique resonant frequency of a glass, the acoustic energy is converted to kinetic energy at the highest possible efficiency. The energy then builds inside the glass until it shatters. The coils that Wytricity uses to transfer power wirelessly are magnetic resonators. First, a rapidly oscillating electric current is applied to a coil at its specific resonant frequency. This creates a magnetic field in the region around the coil. Tune a second coil to the same resonant frequency as the source, and it will couple, resonating anywhere within that region and converting the oscillating magnetic field into an electrical current within the second coil. This response is called highly coupled magnetic resonance, and it hasn't been done before. By attaching the second coil to a device, such as the battery of an electric car or a mobile phone, this current can be made to do useful work. The source can be either centimeters or meters away from the device being powered and can deliver power through walls or around metal obstacles. The power can even be distributed across multiple devices at once. So by a simple trick of physics, power is transferred wirelessly. and you hook that up in series with a diode, a low-pass filter, um, a band pa um, either a bandpass filter or a low-pass filter, and then run that into a DC to DC converter, that's your wireless power setup, guys. Here, I'll put a diagram here on the screen, and I'll put links down below. Now, you're playing with potentially, I suppose, a lot of power. So if you do build this, of course, be careful. But, um, you know, I might have to look into building a couple of these. I mean, if it's proved that 2.45 gigahertz can be transmitted, then we need to build the receiver antennas now, the Rectenna, R-E-C-T-E-N-N-A, with the receiving diodes. The diodes is going to convert, supposedly, the AC that develops in the antenna 
to DC. It's a rectifier. So you need a rectifier diode and then a low pass filter. And then you're going to need to obviously convert that from uh, into some kind of usable DC. But potential out of the air is whatever the transmission source is. So I know around me, for instance,